Welcome to my channel everyone. As you can see, this is the Android Auto Co-Work working on my aftermarket Android head unit. This is in the Volkswagen CC and I am not a beta tester. So I'm going to show you how you're going to get this to work on your aftermarket radios, particularly ones that are equipped with Android. Even if you are not a beta tester, you don't need to be a beta tester to get this to work on your Android head unit. You see that it's working perfectly. Tap here to bring the split screen. These apps are here. App drawer kind of thing. It's all working perfectly. Um, that's notification. So you see the number there showing the notifications and all. And so I'm going to show you exactly how I made this work. And I'm going to use another car so that you know that it's not something specifically limited to this particular one. I'm this an aftermarket Android head unit. It doesn't, it, although it has Android Auto, typically when you want to get Android Auto on this head unit, you go to Z-Link and then it would ask you to connect to your phone. So you plug in your phone, Android Auto works. And that's how Android Auto is going to work for you. You will not get the cool walk. So how do we get the whole cool walk interface that I showed you? On your phone, open your browser and then type in Android Auto Cool Walk APK and then go to Android Auto APKs from APK Mirror. And then when you scroll down, you should be able to see all versions we want the latest so we're going to select the android auto 8.7.1302 beta so I'll tap on that we can just close that window it opens android auto 8.7.1302 beta and if you are wondering if what if i'm not a beta tester you don't need to be a beta tester to enable this feature you have all these variants depending on whichever but i would advise to go f with the second one i think it's mostly going to work with a lot of smartphones especially if you have a samsung um the arm 64 um v8a this one this very one so you open this here come to download apk you tap on that it would be downloaded i already have it downloaded so it's asking if i want to download it again so i'll just download again and show you go to open and then it will ask if you want to update your app you tap on update and that is all you don't have to do anything else in my case i've already done it so i'm going to cancel and then the rest is all on the head unit so so connect your head unit to a wi-fi source mine is already connected to my wi-fi and then you go to play store obviously you probably wouldn't be signing at this time so sign in once it opens play store for you search for head unit reloaded don't go for the trial version because you will not get all the functionalities so just go for the head unit reloaded you're going to choose head unit reloaded emulator by b3 it so you tap on that i have already bought it so if you have not purchased this it will be six dollars so since i've already purchased it i get to install it anywhere i want and so if you are doing this you have to pay about six dollars for it i believe it's about six dollars so installing so it's installing you have to give it a few minutes it's done installing so you open that at this time you can let's just go through and then grant all the permissions so you see the resolution that's already selected you can leave everything as it is you don't need to change anything just start test and that's how it's going to look for you it's will ask if the video was visible you click on yes and then go to done and then now it's time to grant some permissions so okay here and then we have to allow this permission we go back in here and this the interface 
connect your Android phone boom you have your Android Auto cool walk functioning on your um, head unit to show you that indeed this is cool walk you see the difference between what we have here and what I showed you in this particular car earlier so you tap that to open the notifications are down there basically everything is working however you can also play with the um, DPI and the resolution if you are not okay with this arrangement if you probably want it to be by the side here then you disconnect the phone open your head unit reloaded go to settings graphics choose resolution you can go to 720p I won't advise the 1080 but you can play with it in 720p and then you go back connect let's see we didn't mess with the DPI so this 720p and then boom the orientation changes for you but at this point you see that the map doesn't expand because of the DPI so it's the same cool walk but you can leave it like this if that's how you want it but I want to be able to expand it and have it open as full screen like I would want to be able to have the maps open as full screen but in this 720p when you tap the maps it doesn't shift this although every other thing is working perfectly um, so what do you do disconnect again and then go back to your head unit reloaded settings in settings go to graphics pixel density you see it's at 158 I would change that to about 200 first then you go back back and reconnect your smartphone and here we go so at this point when you tap it would expand it was just about the pixel density and you can see it's a bit clearer now that's how to enable android auto cool walk if you found any value in this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel that would be very much appreciated so let me know if it works for you it should be able to work irrespective of which system you are using once you are able to get the head unit reloaded and connect this it should be able to work fine for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video